it's Susan from Artistry by Susan. So there's somebody on my group that I belong to in the Shelly Art community. Her name is Terry. And she did an experimentation with different pouring mediums and came up with using Valspar, high gloss, interior, exterior, base C instead of using the bare 8300. So she did it with different pouring mediums, with actually, I'm um, sorry, pouring mediums, um, with, with um, Josanya, and using different pillow types. So the only one that she did not try it with was with the Minwax. So I am gonna try mixing the pouring medium with Minwax. So I got the Valspar Ultra High Gloss and I mixed it three to one with one part of the Minwax Polyurethane. So now I had went ahead and I mixed up my two toothpaste and two pigments. They are Golden's Quinacridone Magenta, Amsterdam, Renacridone Rose as my two paints. I also used Pearl X. Okay, this is a powdered pigment, is interference red. Okay, okay, this is the acrylic, the Amsterdam acrylic, and this is the golden two paint that I used. Okay, and then my cell activator is Amsterdam Lamp Black, and it's with Floetrol. My TLPs were that I used was Rosé. And excuse me, because I don't know where I put that container just now with the Rosé. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and pour my pillow. And I'm using Glidden um, Eggshell Essentials. And this base was Grace gray, which was an accident. I ordered it and I didn't realize it was gray online. So I ended up with a whole can of gray, but it's been working out okay. So you're gonna pour your pillow. Okay. And I'm gonna just tilt this so it spreads around the canvas. I'm just gonna do a simple bloom, guys. Okay, cool. All right. Let me just sit it back down. Okay. Perfect. I'm looking, making sure there's no bubbles. I'll just torch it a little bit. All right. So first, I'm gonna put in the golden magenta on the bottom, and this is using the new pouring uh, medium that I'm trying out, the Valspar, and the Minwax, just to see what I will get. Next, I'm gonna put that Interference Perlex Red that I used. And the Valspar actually is a a lot thinner than the bare 8300. Okay, so that's the Pearl X. All right, then this is the Interference. Actually, no, this is the Rose, the TLP Rose. And this is the Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose. I think I'm going to go back on the top again with the magenta one more time. And a little bit more of the interference rose. Oh no, the interference red, sorry guys. And top again with the Amsterdam. Quinacridone Rosé. 
So now I'm gonna drop my cell activator right in the center. Okay, get my hair dryer. Let's make sure this is in the center. There we go. Sit a little bit, see what happens. Okay, there's a little bit in the middle there. I can use my straw and blow there. Oh, actually it did pull in a little bit more. All right, so let me let that settle a minute. Okay. All right, I think I'm gonna try to spin it. Slow it down. Let me spin it the other way. Okay. Let me spin it another way again. Okay, I think I'm going to try to tilt it back. Actually, let me move this this way. Okay, put it this way. Let me put this on this side. Okay, and I'm going to try to spin it again, guys. It's almost to that edge. I'm gonna slow it down. I feel like, yep, there we go. Just make sure I'm in the center of each. Okay, guys. Okay, spin one more time. Just remember, you gotta get all the paint out of the center. Okay. All right, I see some good cells in there. I mean, the pouring medium felt a little thinner than the Bear 8300. Next is for me to see how it will dry. Okay, guys. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my spinning today. Okay. Here we go. Perfect. I'm gonna let that spin and spin and spin until I don't see too much dripping on it anymore. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to stop it. Okay, and let's see what I got. Okay, not too shabby. Okay, I'm going to tilt off probably a little bit to this way and make sure it's not moving. 
too much in the okay and then go back this other direction We'll go this way. Make sure I pull off everything I need, you guys. Actually, I'm liking the way that looks lower. Okay, let's go back into the center. Okay, and then let's spin one more time, guys. You want to tilt off enough so you don't see your center moving. Okay, I see some nice cells all in here, guys. You don't see too much movement on the end. Okay. I'm just trying to keep it spinning, like I said, until I See, not too much more movement in the center. All right. Okay, let's see what we got, guys. Okay, let me take a look. I don't see too much movement in the middle. No, not too much. Okay, I think... I'm gonna go in with this and maybe do a little bit of pattern work. Okay. Just to give it some movement there. Okay, let me spin again. Okay, so not too badly, guys. Right, these cells look a little smaller, but other than that, I think it looks okay. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to pick it up and tilt it so you guys can see it. Okay. So I'm going to just set this one to dry and then I'll see what I get. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.